welcome to the week behind. Sean, what'd you get in the mail today? Oh boy, Whoa. Songs with Simba. He's been waiting like for this. Again. Can you play us a song? Oh, I thought you were going to actually play it. <laughs> I don't want copyright. Stop. <laughs> All right. So, uh, I just went shopping, so I might as well show you what I got. I uh, just realized that I have done almost nothing Gosh. for Thanksgiving so far, so I don't even have a list. So I, I went into the store blindly just to see what was going down because I needed some onions for a recipe we're doing after lunch. So I got my onions <laughs> and I got a whole bunch of other stuff that I thought I would possibly need for Thanksgiving or it was on sale because we're doing something unique this year. We're doing a Thanksgiving brunch all together and then the girls are going to go their separate ways and Mark, Sean and I are going to be having a quiet dinner at home. So, uh, <laughs> I got turkey potato chips. I mean, that's brunch food. Those are good. Yeah, they were pretty good. They're probably not great for you, but it's one day. <laughs> we've had them more than one day. <laughs> All right. Um, we've got some oatmeal creamer. I desperately needed that. I thought this would be fun to do some sort of a cheesy fruity dip. So we have some tofu better than cream cheese. And I'm going to swirl in some of this fig preserve. And then we have some of these crackers here um, that are gluten-free. They're like Ritz crackers, but they're gluten-free. That's going to be nice. Got some kale. That's not for Thanksgiving. That's just for whatever. My onions I showed you. They had the broccoli rob on sale, so I got two of those. I got more sweet potatoes. I thought it would be nice to have some of these um, high-quality chicken nuggets also for the brunch. This is for me and Mark, because <laughs> we love the, uh, we're really getting into granola lately. So I got some Love Crunch, and it was on sale for under $4, so that's good. That's vegan, and I, I'm really hoping it's not free. I think it is. I tried to read the ingredients in the store, but who knows. They had the Beyond products on sale, so I got the meatballs. I think they were $4.99, which is an excellent, excellent price, so I got three of those. I decided um, I'm going to do a spanakopita, so I got some puff pastry for that. I can't have that, but uh, or Mark, everybody else can. He might just have it because he wants it. <laughs> um, they also had the Beyond Sausage for $7.99, so I picked up two of those because you can never have enough of that. I always keep that on hand in the freezer. For when I'm going to make a red lentil chili or um, like yesterday we had the paella so that had the Beyond Sausage in it. It's always good to just have it on hand. Stock up on it when it's on sale so that when you need it you're not paying $10 for it. You know it's, it's much nicer to pay $7.99 or even $6.99 at Walmart than it is to have to run out and spend $10 on it. So. That's what I got. <laughs> I uh, I hope I'm getting prepared here because um, it's not going to be a big day on Thanksgiving, but I don't want to be caught unawares. The camera clicks on. Dogs get thirsty. It's like when Mark comes into the room, pants fall off. <laughs> Am I right? Flannel Sanders, or is it Colonel Flannel? Colonel Flannel. Yeah? You don't like Flannel Sanders? Either one. Either one. The effect is the same. Yeah, they're, cr they're like oh, smushed up. Crumbled. They're crumbled, yeah. It's like meat sauce. Meat sauce, baby. Okay. Wonderful. Mm. How'd you like that gravy? <laughs> he came in and said, 
Why couldn't we have pasta with gravy on it? Yeah. You could, you know. Yeah. Excuse me, we don't need to hear that. No. Don't. Like no. Off. Yeah. I mean, we could have that one day. Yes, we could. Yeah. All right, I'm going to have to cut this short because Barks McGee over here is, uh, he's entitled. Minnie said, I won't bark, but I'll stare you down, Dad. Yeah. I have my knit dress on. Yeah. <laughs> She's really cute in that. I mean, yeah. Oh, hi. Hello. We just got, <laughs> we just got back from shopping. Yes. I totally meant to vlog while we were shopping. But I did not. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm exhausted now. We went to so many places. We went to different places than usual. We went to the health food store. <gasps> we went to ShopRite. We went to Aldi. We went to BJ's. We were going to go to Target, but then she said it's too much. <clears throat> yeah, we didn't have to go. Yeah, so it would have been nice, but we didn't. Another day. So, <laughs> where to begin? I guess the health food store. We got an S ton of oat milk chocolate. Well, some of these are for me, some of these are for you. Great price. These were two fifteen. When she said last night that we we're gonna be going to the health store today, I was like, wait a second. <laughs> Is that where you got the chocolate? I remember that's where you told me you got that chocolate from, the oat milk dark chocolate. Yeah. And it was two dollars and fifteen cents a bar. Yes. Which is like unheard of for oat milk chocolate. Yes. Because so. the lint chocolate is over $5 yeah. for one bar. I'm Although so it was excited. on sale 3 for 10 at ShopRite. Which but is pretty good for it. Pretty but good, but this is still better. I love that packaging too. Yes. And then we also got some charcuterie situation. We got um, some smoked salmon sunflower cream cheese. This is um, vegan. We got some feta crumbles. We're having spanakopita. We got a little wheel of smoked gouda. For the charcuterie, we got some uh, pepperoni slices, plant-based. I also picked up a extra firm tofu. I gotta switch my laundry. Yeah, go ahead. We um, got some just egg for three forty-nine each. Uh, pretty good price. And what else did we get at the health food store? I think that's it. Then we ran over to Shoprite which is not far from there and I got some romaine I got some cukes I got Maddie got some potatoes uh, for her Friendsgiving got no <laughs> oh she got the makings in this bag of a uh, chocolate uh, pudding pie you know with the whipped cream on the top but it's all vegan of course so, and she also picked up the Beyond Meatballs because they were on sale for $4.99. It was the same ones that I got yesterday. So, very, very good price. Because uh, BJ's has those two for $10.99 and they never have them. They're sold out all of the time. Come on in. Come on in. Treats. There's a dog walking down the block and she owns the block. So... She's, there's no stopping her barking. We just have to wait till the dog walks all the way down the block because she's just not going to stop. So, but Bowie still wants to come in. <laughs> all right, come in. Uh, Bowie, he did the fake out on me. Come here. You want a treat? Come in. Come on. Let's go. See the dog finish walking down the block now she's quiet for a moment <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that door open cuz yeah all right uh, at Aldi I picked up scallions of course cuz I use them for everything they had some pretty good-looking asparagus got that you gotta have asparagus on a holiday it's a rule not really but Got more of these pretzel rings for $1.99. Those were pretty good as well. Got a soy milk. Got a pumpkin uh, can because I was going to do my own pumpkin pumpkin pie. But I said, 
I got too much going on this year. I can't do it. We got uh, some crackers for the charcuterie. And I think, yes, that is everything that we got. Okay, final stop, BJ's. Oh, my phone is just blowing up. Um, what do we get at BJ's? We got barks. Yeah. The dogs got some treats. I got a marinated artichoke hearts for the uh, charcuterie. Some mushrooms for the stuffing. They had this on offer. The uh, Sweet Lauren's, which are vegan and gluten free. Wow, you can even eat these raw. So they have a four pack and it was like $7.99. And in ShopRite and the health food store, I feel like it's six, seven dollars just for one pack. So that was nice. Maddie got some lights for her uh, staircase. That's fun. Whee! Oh, they changed color. That's really nice. And uh, I think that's everything that we got at BJ's. I think, no, that's not. Maddie got a 12 pack of Chloe's raspberry chocolate uh, ice cream pops. Yeah, but they're not ice cream, they're vegan. So <laughs> she was thrilled. She was so distracted by the chocolate at the health food store. She forgot where she was. She forgot what we were getting there. She's like, what did you buy for the charcuterie? Because I don't even know. I wasn't paying attention. The only thing I was thinking about was that chocolate. What can I say? I have a sweet tooth. <laughs> when, I, when I told her, you know, oh, we bought just egg and we bought this. And she's like, what? We did? All I know is that we bought that. So. Now I gotta put all this stuff away. I gotta go get Sean. We gotta have lunch. We have to watch the, oh, what did you think of Dancing with the Stars? Oh, I wasn't prepared right now. Um, excellent, excellent, excellent finale because the final four were just so talented. Yeah. It was so fun to watch the freestyle. All of the freestyles were great. I gotta say though. Shangela. I that was love. more than I could have ever hoped yes. for. Yes, Shangela put on a show, mm -hmm. and like she was the star. The partnership between Shangela and Gleb this season was so special. It was, and the fact that Gleb got into drag for this number was everything. Yeah, they brought the house down. It was amazing, and I'm super disappointed that Shangela only got fourth place. But I'm really excited for Charlie. I yeah. think that she was obviously the best dancer this season. Her freestyle with Mark, I loved. I texted her. Yeah. It was very La La Land-esque. Yes, it was. It was perfect. Um, she danced it so well. And we all know that Mark Ballas' choreography is like yeah. on another level. It was awesome. Well, I mean, I thought Jenna Johnson's choreography was pretty amazing too I for loved, Gabby. I loved all the freestyles. I loved Wayne and Whitney as well. Mm -hmm. Everybody did a fantastic job. Um... So overall, it was just a great season, and oh my god, Cheryl's dance with Louie and Pasha, yeah, so fun. Um, she can still do her thing. Still so shake a tail feather. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would love to see her on the judges panel next season. Now that Len's leaving, will they fill his spot or will they go back down to three? I don't know. That's a good question. I'd love to see them stay at four. I think four is fun. I think four I is like, better lot, than three. But I, I think four is fun. I like four. Yeah, and I have to say it was very sweet seeing the packages that they put together for Len. I'm going to miss him. How weird was it to have the first four off come back and like totally forget everything about dance that they ever oh my knew? God. Yeah, because they were like in the groups. And yeah. Their group, the first four group was like the baby Flopping class. all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But overall, I really loved this season. I thought it was fantastic. We saw so many great performances, so many great personalities. So You really, really appreciate dance when you see the pros dance with the pros. Yeah. You forget how much they have to dumb it down for the celebrities. <laughs> that when the pros get together, it's like, whoa. They have legs of lightning fire. Amazing. 
So good. Yeah, it was a great season and a great finale. Yeah, now we're gonna watch uh, after I get back with Sean the uh, oh, reunion, the reunion for, for Love, Love Is Blind. Blind season three. If you watch Love Is Blind, let us know what you thought of the season in the comments. It's been a lot. I mean, there was just some news the other day too about one of the couples, and it wasn't good. No, <laughs> I just uh, Zinib. No, that was totally unnecessary. Yeah. No. Oh. Hello. You must be. <laughs> You're not flannel today. That's fleece. It's fleece. So your fleecy, uh, fleecy frost. Okay. Like Jack Frost. Right. Or Jack Fleece. You're just hot. That's all I can say. Let me balance the. Uh, the yes white balance so that everyone can it's not showing up as good as it is in real life um that's not yours by the way and i already put lemon on it <laughs> well, that one. that's mine whose is this sean's where's mine i didn't dish it out yet because i wanted you to do your own oh sorry i wanted you to have what you you know Wanted. Uh huh. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> we have some uh, jasmine rice, and then on top of it, we have some veggie stew tonight. It's really good. Yes, it's the veggie stew. I think you'll uh, like it. Flannel frost. <laughs> Shawnee has his little um, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer Bowl cozy tonight. So he's getting in the holiday spirit. Have a seat, sir. Let me help you. It's very hot. Please don't burn your mouth, sir. Okay? Yes. Is it hot? What hot? Girl. Is it hot or cold? Hot, girl. It's hot, yes. It's flipping hot. Yes. Which bowl cozy would you like? A matching one to mine from Yvonne Rodriguez? Sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here you go. Danke. Danke schön, baby. <laughs> All right. So, so cozy, we, right? On a, on a late, cold night. Late fall evening. Yes. I hope you enjoy. I think I will. We're gonna watch The Crown. Really? All right. It's not really you, dinner. I mean, uh, I want some light entertainment. Would you rather watch uh, British Bake Off, the holiday one? Maybe. Okay, I'll watch that. We're in the home stretch now. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I picked up Sean. We had lunch. Yes. We have been working all morning. Oh my goodness. All day. Yes. You're working on those ornaments, which are so freaking hot. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm getting my listing up now. There's a new TikTok for you guys. Check it out. It's the ornaments. It's a lot of fun. Also, I'm about to put a 10% sale on my Etsy. Oh. <laughs> nice. It just smells so good in here right yeah, now. Yeah, it does. For a change. It, <laughs> it doesn't smell like dog. So I've got one pumpkin pie in there with the puff pastry. Over here, um, I made Maddie a pumpkin pie with the extra one of her crusts. We've got all of those sweet Lauren cookies that we baked up. And Mark is stopping at the store to get three more boxes. Woo! I mean, at that price, you can't pass it up. And it's vegan and gluten free. And then in my very crowded refrigerator right now is Maddie's uh, chocolate, vanilla chocolate dream pie. We just put the um, chocolate pudding installment on there. And it's about to get the whipped cream once it's cool enough. I just had to make a boba. Mm. You're doing great, sweetie. I almost dumped the boba. Because I did it with one hand. No dumpies. 
the actual turkeys in the oven. Meh. I have some uh, dough for bread rolls. These two tofus are going to be turned into a tofu, uh, turkey tofu loaf. It's all coming together. <laughs> it's all coming together. As soon as she does her listing, we're going to be doing the uh, grape leaves. And of course I have a cut on my finger which is going to sting like a mother. It's going to sting like a mofo. So that's not going to be too fun. But after the grape leaves, I feel like we're mostly done for today. I just got to do uh, cleaning and a um, couple more loads of laundry. <laughs> and then tomorrow morning, we're going to do more cooking. Yes. We'll do the Spanakopita and the little charcuterie things tomorrow. Get and there. We're going to make it happen. And after you guys leave, I basically don't really have to do much. Yeah, so that's going to be nice because I'm going to be tired. <laughs> For sure. I'm just so excited, um, mostly about those cookies. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I hope there are three boxes for Daddy to buy. Mm -hmm. Bubby is passed out. Where's Minya? Minya. I don't know if she's in her bed over here or waiting by the door for her father to come home. Nope, she must be in her in her bedroom asleep. Ugh, I gave her a piece of my salad at lunch and she just spit it back out. Oh. <laughs> the minute it touched her tongue, she was like, Bleh, nope, no thank you. Did you get mail today? Yes. What'd you get? Troll. You got a troll book? Oh, how nice. Very good. Unfortunately, I think the book that Sean wanted for Thanksgiving is not going to be here till after Thanksgiving, so that sucks. Look at her hard at work. Right. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. I just turned off the main oven. And I think I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do my turkey loaf now. Right. These dogs are going nuts right yeah, now. Yeah, they smell the turkey in the air. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean they're gonna have some of it for dinner, so yeah. they're like really. They they're freaking man. It's so sad to see the turkey. I know. Again, but. All right. Hey. I think you need to zip it. Good boy, turkey. <laughs> So, you're finishing up your dream pie. Yes. It looks for, amazing. Yes, I'm so excited to try it. Daddy had so a Paula Dean it. it. I know. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. Um, I'm bringing this to Friendsgiving on Saturday, but I'm yes. happy to have it done in advance. Yes. So, I'm going to put this in the freezer. You can even uh, just keep extra for serving. Like, you don't have to put yeah, all I'm not that on. Put that whole like, thing. you could put I a dollop on after much. you serve it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So over here we have the vegan turkey loaf, which I think came out really nice. This is a double batch of the single one that we did on the vegan channel. Yeah, looks good. Why, thank you. I'm getting ready to make uh, green beans in there. And then after I do the green beans, all I have to do is make the instant mashed potatoes and the stuffing. I can't believe how much we did today. I can't either. But we only watched like half an hour, <laughs> if even, of Notting Hill. Yeah. That, that's how the pumpkin pie came out, the one that we're having. What do you think? I'm hungry. <laughs> well, as soon as I finish making the stuffing and everything, we can eat. Doesn't that look nice? Didn't Maddie do a great, a great job on that? Yes, keep teasing me. <laughs> it's all about you, isn't it? Yep. Colonel Flanders. <laughs> Flannelers. Flannel Sanders. Straight. Colonel Flannel. I was wrong about the cookie dough. Yeah, it was not the price that we thought it was. It wasn't $7.99. I don't know what I was thinking, but... I think it was like when I got distracted by the chocolate yesterday. I think you got distracted by the cookies. It was $13. Yeah. $12.99. is still not bad. It's still a great price it's considering... It's not as good as we thought. That's still half the price it is when it, you go to the supermarket to buy just like one. Yeah. So. Oh my. It's, um... It's dinner time. Yeah. 
You're making the instant mashed potatoes. It's just because we're in a rush tonight, but tomorrow for the big event. The real deal. We're having the real deal. I just can't even stand up. It's killing me to stand up right now because you need a spoon. Because my back, my upper back is aching from cooking all day. So I just couldn't bear to make the mashed potatoes. So we have um, some sweet potatoes. I'm going to make fresh sweet potatoes too and fresh stuffing. How would you think of the stuffing? I made some homemade sourdough stuffing with fresh veggies and my own fresh sourdough. Mm -hmm. In fact, I have another pan of sourdough in here proofing. <laughs> um, the turkey roast came out really well. What'd you think of it? Oh, it's good. Yeah. yeah. We got some leftover gravy. Good thing we made all those um, vegan TikToks and recipes this week because that really helped out. We got some green beans. We got the real turkey over there. Don't look at it. Look away. If it, if it bothers you. And then uh, a nice batch of grape leaves over here that Maddie and I just uh, whipped up. And there's more than this, but she's taking them for um, Thanksgiving dinner. So I'm going to put these away. Ugh, I can't do that with one hand. But that stuffing, I was just telling Mark, is the most perfectest stuffing that I've ever had in my whole life. I don't want, I don't like tooting my own horn. I, I'm not. It's just the, it just came together so beautifully with mushroom, celery, onion, um, the Orrington Farms, uh, bouillon, some poultry seasoning, some nice uh, vegan butter and the uh, sourdough. The celery is perfectly cooked. It's not crunchy at all. And I know you hate that yeah. when it's crunchy. I got to heat up this gravy. This is quite a feast. We're going to be feasting all weekend. Because we're going to be having another Thanksgiving on Sunday with my mom. So like it's gonna be one big eating orgy <laughs> you can't put on weight i know i have to lose weight too because my back is starting to hurt so um yeah but this is all good food honey it's all good for you especially these that those Me, that them the stuffing not so much but Looking forward to a nice piece of uh, pumpkin pie in a little while. That one has the puff pastry. That's pretty sweet. The dogs were ready to rip each other to shreds over the turkey carcass. Yeah. I had Mark went outside to go do something and he took the dogs with them. I freaking flew through that turkey <laughs> to get it all wrapped up and separated into you know different yeah. categories so that when they came in, I didn't have to do it in front of them. It was Their watchful gaze. Yeah, because they they are entitled. They feel so entitled that that's their turkey. That's right. So just like uh, Flash was when he had a kill outside. Ugh. He would have killed us if we had touched his kill. Yeah. He, it's you just like a to... switch was flipped in his brain where he just went primal. Predator. Yeah, he went primal. And he was like, you better back up. This is mine. Right. He fought a vulture out in the backyard one time. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. It was bigger than him. It was taller than him. And he Stand was fighting up. it. Because they were fighting over a, um, a carcass. Those wings out. Yeah, it was insane. <laughs> insane. That dog had no fear. He would have taken a bullet for us. Good boy. He was a great boy. He was one of the great ones. Pay attention, Bowie. Pay attention, Lucy. <laughs> They're great in other ways. Yeah. Enjoy your thanks pre-Thanksgiving supper. I shall. Hi, happy Hello, Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Wow, look at the spread here. We've got a beautiful charcuterie. Look at this. 
And on the bottom, the spanakopita. Oh my god. It's a beast. I'm already stuffing my face because I didn't eat breakfast. <laughs> I'm just preparing for this. Nice. I gotta have you taste my stuffing too. Sean has a... Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Every time I turn on the camera does not mean you bark. I'm giving him a rat no. piece because he's a pain in the butt. It's only going to make him more. I know. Well, Lucy gets one first because she was quiet. All right. Hope I have bought his silence. That TV is extremely loud. That is a live, well, was a live stream of waiting for the Macy's Day Parade, but Macy's Day, Thanksgiving Day, Macy's Parade. <laughs> Anyway, Sean has made little pilgrim outfits for um, all of his animals here, plushies. I have to say today was a great success. We had a wonderful lunch with the with the kids, and now we're having. <laughs> That's such a, a wonderful thing that you've done that for us, honey. Colonel Flan, Colonel uh, Flannel. Has, uh, just like Colonel Sanders, he makes dinner for people. So did you. Yeah. So we have some beautiful real mashed potatoes. Yes, those are quite real. I have to recommend this gravy. Me too. Whoa. We're going to be eating a lot of gravy this winter because this just came together in like less than 20 minutes. So good. So I made another vat of that. I've got my turkey loaf here. Uh, we have some more green beans. I decided to not do stuffing tonight because I'm going to be doing it yeah. again on Sunday. Yeah. And the sweet potatoes I'm doing again on Sunday. Besides, I'm so freaking stuffed from this morning. Yeah. Because we had quite the charcuterie spread. Unbelievable. And we have a full spanakopita in here that we didn't even eat yet. That's not staying there. That's going in the fridge. I just didn't have any room right now. But, um... Yeah, what are we get? We're gonna watch the last episode of The Crown, or like. or would you like some other light dinner entertainment? Yeah, The Crown is kind of heavy. All right, we can watch that for dessert. Maybe you can watch the uh, British Bake Off that you fell asleep during the um, the New Year's yes. one because British Bake Off uh, they have. They only did one Christmas. No, they do. Yeah, they do one Christmas with celebrities nice. then for the um or you can watch a past one that you haven't seen yet Shh. Okay, they get crazy when this turkey comes out it's yeah. in the, it's in the air he's like barking at the air he's like legit angry at the air <laughs> lucy however is a good girl she used to be a bad girl but now she's good <laughs> am i right so for the New Year's one, they have former <laughs> contestants from the show come back. And Kim Joy comes back for this New Year's Aww. one. So I really like her. I saw her cookbook in Barnes & Noble. I like her story. So we're going to uh, partake in our feast. And we're probably, honestly, we're probably just going to pass out on the sofa. What <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving! Enjoy everybody. Yes. Um, we're being held hostage by these dogs right now because uh -huh. every time we turn on the camera they start to lose their S. Mm -hmm. So they're waiting very patiently for their tooth brushing. They get light, one of those... Light or dark? Either one. They, they get their uh, tooth brushing dental treats every day at noon. But since we uh, we need them to shut up, <laughs> we're giving them a half an hour early today. Wait. So I know <sighs> we survived. We did it. Another one. In Another one on the books. Yep. Another Thanksgiving, and I'm so thankful that we uh, are still here. <laughs> vertical. And oh not my God! Time. You got daytime flannel on. It's the time of the year. Oh sh. You looking for something? <laughs> He's looking for something. That all right? There, I've said it. So anyway, it's the wrap up for the week behind. 
But we have a special birthday shout out. We don't have any strong behinds here. We're all weak. We got Jill Holland on tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Happy, birthday, Happy birthday, Jill. Jill. Hope you're living your best day, week, month, year, lifetime of birthday happiness. Holiday weekend means extra long birthday. It does. Do I ever have a reason not to celebrate? No. no. <laughs> so <laughs> it might as well just be a year long birthday. Whatever, birthday year. Just celebrate every day like it's your birthday. Probably so, a good idea. Yeah. Are we doing anything today? I am apparently going shopping with Oh, that's right. You're going shopping with one. Kristen. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't know if Maddie wants to get in on that too or not. I didn't ask her if she wanted to be included. She, she may come if she Yeah. Likes. But I know she's got to go to the post office too. Um, mm -mm -mm. I just did some shopping online. Oh, did you? I showed you what I, oh. I'm getting. I didn't realize you had already ordered it. <laughs> I didn't. It's in the cart. Okay. So it's not on sale because those things don't normally go on sale. But I want to grab it before it's all gone because I went to Barnes and Noble okay. and they had the box at Barnes and Noble, but it was empty. Really? Yeah. I don't know whether they keep them like in the back or something because it had like a thing on it. You but they grow legs in Barnes and Noble. I don't know. People Walk steal things, door? you know. I've heard. People, and those aren't cheap. I heard Target said they lose like 400 million a year. Yeah. You know what it is? Wherever they have self checkouts. That is a problem. It's a problem. Yeah. Uh, I thought, wasn't it Walmart that was like, we're not doing. Somebody said they were. Something like that anymore yeah. because I mean, we lose too, too much, much money. Temptation for people to not put everything in the bag that should be in the bag. Well, haven't you noticed that when we go to Sam's Club now, they have tightened up their, uh... I haven't been to Sam's Club for a long time. Yeah, you have, since they've done it. You used to be able to pay on your phone. So, usually they scan your phone at the door, and they check one or two items, and you're out the door. Usually three. No, they've upped it now. Is that right? Yeah, they used to do two when they first started. Mm -hmm. Now, sometimes if they're really worried, like, they'll count each item, they'll see how, you know, or they'll do like a visual scan of like, all right, it says that you've or, got... Or, or they'll look at the... Uh, big receipt. ticket items? They'll look at the receipt for, a, you know, a little bit longer than normal. And <laughs> <they're not even laughs> no, yeah. no. Now they, um, now they actually scan like four or five, maybe even six items, and they'll actually count if, like, Depends they... Depends on how sketchy you look. Yeah. I mean, I'm in there all the time. They know me. Mm -hmm. So, they don't normally do that for me, I feel like. Mm -hmm. But I could see where they would lose a lot of money going out the door. No doubt. You know. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's face it. There may have been a time where I have forgotten to scan an item. Mm -hmm. Again, completely by accident but then there's times where I get overcharged, overcharged so you. I feel like it all works out in the end anyway yeah. so yeah it's a thing okay. so it's Black Friday we gotta go <laughs> I look like a mess right now sorry I'm assaulting you with my appearance in Space Ghost Town it's Brack Friday oh Brack Friday their character yeah Brack yeah Brack Friday all right. Well, I'm sure Sean will be listening to that later. <laughs> oh, somebody's having a just egg for uh, I'm brunch. I'm breaking my fast. Look at these beautiful uh, sourdough. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do more than ciabattas. That I, these were from last night. I made those. These were from the day before. Oh, they're just so good. I'm gonna be asking for baking supplies for Christmas. I want to get one of those oven steels, okay. like a, a sheet made of like cast iron or whatever it is. That's I don't know what it is. I, I, I just know that... Did you call it cast iron steel? I don't... You know what? I have no idea what it is, but I want one. <laughs> and I want to get one of those official pizza peels. So, um... I'm looking forward to that. More cooking, baking tutorials for you guys. Because I want my pizza to be as close to the pizzeria as possible. And let's face it, I don't have a 900 degree oven at home. I don't have a pizza oven at home. So I gotta work with what I got. If your pizza gets any better, it's just gonna be incredible. Oh, what? He is looking for something. 
All right, we better go then. <laughs> Your pizza is already top notch, so I can't imagine it. But I know Whoa. what you're saying. The steel makes it maybe a little crispier. On the yeah, bottom. yeah. Nobody likes the pale bottom. Yeah. And it does tend to get a little soggy if you don't get it right on the, yeah. So there's lots of tips and tricks and I have been, I haven't, can't remember the last time I bought an actual store bought pizza dough. So I've really been enjoying the sourdough. I mean, we've, we've been on the sourdough train uh, for quite oh, yeah. a while now, so. Every day now. Which reminds me, we have to go and get some flour today. Okay. The good one. The good one. The unbromated, unbleached. The King Arthur? Yeah, the King Arthur one. That's the one, that's the only one that we use exclusively. Right. All right, gotta run. Have a great weekend. Bye. Don't shop till you drop because we don't want you to drop. Stay safe. Stay safe Avoid out the there. Crowds. It's dangerous shopping out there. Keep your head on a swivel, as my mom would say. <laughs> Which. No, this is what my mom, uh, I translated that from what my mom used to tell me as a kid. She said, daughter, the nuns used to say, keep your wits about you. <laughs> so I told my kids, kids, keep your head on a swivel and keep that pepper spray close by. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so there you go. There you have it. I hope uh, everybody had a wonderful holiday weekend. We're going to start vlogging uh, very soon. For the weekend update, holiday weekend update. See you on Monday, guys. Have a great one and much love.